hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to discuss a topic called sex determination or determination of sex this is a topic that comes under forensic medicine so um let's start with it so sex can be defined as a biological term denoting the genetics physiologic and anatomical characteristics of an individual based on which we can identify ourselves as male and female so in order to identify a person as male or female we are going to look at the genetic aspects that is whether the sex chromosome is xx or it is xy then we are going to look at the physiologic characteristics that is physiological abilities like muscle strength and sensory abilities and all these things and then the anatomical characteristics that is related to the structure of the body so all these things are studied and on the basis of that we can identify a person as a male or a female now the question arises why is sex determination required so if we have found a body and that body is unknown to us the first thing that we need to ascertain is whether the person is male or female right so sex determination is required for the purpose of identification in living as well as in dead bodies also sex determination is required for deciding whether an individual can exercise certain civil rights that are extended to only one sex so there are certain rights civil rights that are available to only male or to only female so for that we need to know whether the person is a male or female whether or not the person is liable to use those certain civil rights also for deciding questions related to legitimacy divorce paternity marriage impotence rape and affiliation so by now we know what sex is and why is sex determination required so for sex determination there are three ways first we can do sex verification test then there is nuclear sexing nuclear sexing comes under sex verification test only but in this video i'm going to discuss just about this that is sex verification test nuclear sexing will be discussed in a bit detail in my next video then comes the most important that is sex determination from skeletal remains that is from skull from pelvis from mandible and from sacrum these are very important these will also be discussed in my upcoming videos first let's start with the sex verification test so first of all what we need to do is we are going to examine the person the physical morphology how the person is looking physically right so for that we need to look and examine the external characteristics are to be looked for are to be examined in this particular test so the features that we are going to look for in this test are going to be all these features right so for example first we are going to look out the general built of the body so if it is muscular strong and stout then it is going to be a male whereas we know that females are less muscular they are more delicate and slender so if the body is showing these characteristics then the body is of a female right then we look at scalp hair male have short thick and coarse hair whereas the, the females have long fine thin hair right then the facial hair in males they are present there are no facial hair in females then uh, pubic hairs are to be looked for in males they are thick coarse extended upwards with apex at umbilicus whereas in female they are thin fine horizontal covers mons veneris then adam's apple is prominent in male and it is less prominent in females we know that then the shoulders are broader than hip in males and in females the shoulders are narrower than the hip if we talk about the waist region then it is not well defined in males whereas it is well defined in females in the trunk area the abdominal segment is smaller in males whereas it is larger in females the dimension of thorax is more in males and it is less in females 
then the thighs of males are cylindrical whereas thighs of female are conical due to short femur and greater amount of fat then in male there is no breast development there is there is breast development in females after puberty then uterus and vagina is not present in males and penis is not present in females and the gonad in male is testis and the gonad in female is ovary so all these external characteristics the ones that we can see through outside external examination is to be done then certain microscopic test or nuclear sexing or sex chromatin test can be done this will be discussed in a bit detail in the next video also but in short for this test what we need is we need to take cells so generally buccal epithelial cells are taken or hair follicle cells are taken and then they are examined microscopically that is with the help of a microscope we look at these cells and we see whether or not there is bar body present so what is bar body bar body is an inactive x chromosome and it is present only and only in females so if bar body is seen in the nuclear sexing process then that means that the body is of a female but certain exceptional cases are, are also there then comes gonadal biopsy we know that gonad are the male and female primary reproductive organs right so in males it is testis and in female it is ovary right so in gonadal biopsy we take out tissue and then we are going to examine it and going and we are going to see the sex chromosomes whether the cell that is taken has xx sex chromosome or xy sex chromosome if it is xs that it, then it is female right and if it is xy then it is male then certain gene based test can also be done for which pcr technique is used pcr is polymerase chain reaction this technique is used to detect a gene called SRY gene whose full form is sex determining region of Y chromosome. This particular gene is present only in males or another gene having the area DYZ1 region of the Y chromosome is also diagnostic. So PCR is uh, we use PCR to detect these two areas of the gene and if it is present then that is a male. SRY is responsible for initiating a cascade of steps that are necessary for the formation of a testis from an undifferentiated gonad. Then comes um, another test called assay of testosterone level. So we are going to take the sample and uh, we are going to look for the amount of testosterone that is present. It also helps in differentiating the sex of an individual because we know that testosterones are very high in males whereas they are very low in females. So for females it should have a level that is less than 10 nanomolar per liter. This particular quantity is lower than the lower limit of normal for males so if the levels are below this much then that is a female if high then that is a male now normally all these tests are combined or a combination of all these tests are carried out for determining the sex of the person however certain disorders of sexual development always act as a problem in the sex verification test as we know that the sex chromosome is not always xx or xy right it can be xxy also it can be xo also so all these abnormalities sexual abnormalities in sexual development always act as a problem in the sex verification test so in this video we have discussed the sex verification test in next video i'm going to talk about the nuclear sexing and then in the upcoming videos, um, sex determination from skeleton remains will be discussed which will be including sex determination from skull, pelvis, mandible and sacrum. These two are very important and these are also important. So do check out those videos also. Thank you for watching. This was all about this video.